G'day everyone, welcome to the Open Mills. Uh, today, just gonna continue on um, getting some more rubs, uh, polished stones I should say, out of the pot of sugar solution and into some sulfuric acid. And this time I'll be using some heat. <laughs> see if that gets an even better result. May have to do all the other ones again. We'll see how this turns out. So just to show people, look, I've got this because I'll be using some warm sulfuric acid and just in, I, I'm not sure on the fumes and I don't want to risk it. So got a breathing solution for that. Safety goggles, got one glove on. I've got to have one free to press the button on the phone. Gloves don't work. <laughs> so I'm just going to take these out, um, same as I did last time. And I'll just cut all that out. It's just getting them out of the pots, nothing much. Clean them up, ready to put in the acid. Go stick them in there, and hopefully this will probably be a, a quick video. Um, as far as for you guys, it'll take a couple of days to shoot, but see how we go this time. Experimenting. All right, so we've got out here. We've got the pot, but a bit of water in it. I'm going to keep that uh, topped up to make sure that yeah, if that starts boiling, I could yeah turn it down a bit maybe. I don't want it to get too hot, but warmed up enough. So anyway, that'll control the heat. Uh, I've got the stones there pulled out. And the tweezers to, plastic tweezers to place them in. I have all my safety equipment. And over here, bucket full of bicarb soda water, strong mix. Uh, I've got a couple of packets of uh, bicarb soda. I'll show you later um, on the side. And plenty more water mix if needed. So the bicarb soda is what I use to neutralize the uh, sulfuric acid. And um, yeah, it seems to, as long as you get the right mix and do it right, uh, that's how I clean the opal up afterwards to neutralize it. So uh, the acid, I haven't actually gone through enough yet to dispose of, but I'll do a video on that eventually when I do. Uh, that'll just be a lot more frothing and bicarb soda, but I'll show you the process when I pull them out and um, get some sulfuric acid off the stones and put them in the bicarb soda and you'll see that reaction. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of fizzing, that's about it. Doesn't last long, but it might be interesting. So anyway, I'm gonna get to kit myself up, put this on some music or something. I'll try and get some new music, sorry guys. And um, Start placing these in. Okay, we're all ready. So I've left the pot to cool down. It's nice and cool inside. I'm gonna uh, set the camera up so I can film this, but I'm gonna take the middle jar out, leave it suspended and draining for a minute, and then I'll neutralize it. And you'll see what happens in the uh, bicarb soda. A bit more reposition now. Uh, it's got some random bicarb soda. It's as easy as just sprinkling it in. Now, that was demonstration. This has got plenty in it already. Just a bit of stir anyway. It's got plenty in it already. Uh, what can it hurt? <laughs> but um, when it goes in, it's just gonna fizz a lot and I don't want it to dunk in all at once. Otherwise, um, yeah, it, it creates a bit of heat, um, not that that's a worry, but it then fizzes a lot, and yeah, you just don't want it to fizz way too much, so I'm going to shut up and take this out. The holes do their job. I'll put that big pendant back in to see what would happen with a bit of uh, heated acid, just to see if it even did a 
anything more. I didn't even soak it again in sugar, I just stuck it straight back in the acid. I'm just going to leave that there for a second. Make sure the drops drop as much as possible. Drip, drip, drip. Put enough holes in this. So now I'll just wait between drips. And I'll try and zoom in here. Let's see, there we go, there's a bit of a reaction already. So I'm just going to slowly lower it down. I'm just focusing on the pot now. There we go. Just need a lot of that, basically. Turning into a gas. Forming a new mixture. I'm not sure what it's called. Bicarbonate sulfur. <laughs> so that's pretty concentrated on the inside, and only what's coming in through the bottom's diluting the inside. So that's going to stay fizzing for a while. Plus, it's already soaked right into those stones. So yay, volcano! Get some fresh acid. Um, just in there. And now these have to stay in for a bit. You can't just take them straight out and start handling them because the acid's still inside. The as you can hear, it even still fuzzing. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave that to do its thing. Um, I'll give it a good good while usually I leave it overnight anyway and um, make sure it gets a good one but I'm gonna have a look at them in a minute okay so have a look what we've got here Let's get one out. So dry wow they look pretty black I don't know how much of that's gonna rub off Zoom in here. I need to look at all that for a minute while I'm doing this. If this has actually worked the way I'm thinking it has, I'm going to have to do everything over again. <laughs> so let's just give one of these a little bit of a some of this has got to come off. It's just stuck on the outside from what was coated out there. And um, stained on the outside. So that'll come off a bit. Absolutely wow. Oh my gosh. Let me just grab one for, uh, I'll grab the darkest one from the last lot. Where are we, camera? So that's how lot it came out. And I just picked another one to see, yeah. And, oh. <laughs> so to everyone that said, add some heat. I was going to, but no, thank you. Yes, definitely right. Here we go, we're off and racing. Uh, more work for me, because I now shall have to <laughs> retreat everything. I'm not complaining. If I can get that result out of that, wow. Holy, holy. Keep it PG. Unreal. Oh, look, let's get into the rest of them. Let's get that one over there. Now, this one only 
literally just stuck back in again. I didn't um, re-sugar coat it or anything. Um, I just thought, well, it's already got stuff in there. It just needs to be, if it's gonna have anything happen, treated. And I think that has gone a lot darker than what it went in. I'm gonna turn this light off because it kind of gives a bit of a false representation. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm really happy now. Check that out. It's like, yeah, night sky, very dark blue. Aurora Borealis over the town of multicolors. No, I don't know. Um, that's gonna be a pendant though. Wow. I'm so happy I cut this one this way and the rest were in the other pieces that you've seen. But I kept one this size, it's like, Unreal. That's champion effort. What else have we got here? Oh, this is like Christmas. Just give it a little brush or something. Just don't know if it's gonna do anything there. When I've got too soft. That's not coming off the surface. Unreal. Unreal. That just sent that totally dark. Oh. <laughs> success. I thought I had success before. Jeez, I'm gonna have to re-edit that video. Um, I'll just name this one true success. So again, just rubbing this black off the edge. Wow. Oh, so happy with this. Oh, I'm holding it upside down to you guys too. Just realize anything I've said is upside down to you. Well, I was looking at it before. Unreal. <laughs> wow. Keep going. More to get through here. I'm not just picking the same one up. I cut multiples of these ones this way. And now I'm happy I did. So they'd be the same as the uh, the big stone. The way I cut these, you can see it's got the that stuff down the bottom, the bluish greens up the top. So yeah, had to cut a bit of it, everything. Can't keep it all, Phil, can't keep it all. <laughs> so I had to make sure I can make stuff for other people that may want to buy it. And um, usually that sucks for me because I have to part with the better pieces. Otherwise, I mean, that's just not right. Unreal. So I'll look at some other stuff that I wasn't sure about. Wasn't gonna to get too much more into there, but it definitely sort of has a bit. I'm not sure if you saw that stone before it went in. directional this one but well worth the play of color it's when you have to play around to see the color that's sometimes the fun of it it's always good to sit there and keep you amused for a bit trying to <laughs> uh, it's a toy it's not just jewelry now this that I'm holding now is the brother sister of this one 
and let's see how darker it came out. Well, yep, this is definitely going in again. Look at that. That's an open back of it all day. Just a nice, neat little edge, open back. Got be another ring. Flashy. And so this is, <laughs> this is the, what I've been hoping was gonna happen the whole time. And I've honestly felt a little bit like I let people down on what I was hoping to show them or what I would like to have seen if I was you guys. And uh, finally, now I get to show a bit more the way it's supposed to turn out. Rubbing that black away and looking at that color underneath. <laughs> wow. Oh, that one's the one with the S in it. I'm not sure if, yeah. If you ever go back and look at the uh, video these were cut in, this one has an S in it. Gorgeous stone. So if anyone's got an initial S, if that symbol means anything, I'm sure someone's gonna love that piece. So stoked this worked. That's a nice one. I'm pretty sure it's got a flash in it somewhere. It's probably directional. Yeah. No, that one likes the night sky. piece has a nice piece of blue up here the one I like right somewhere in here it's probably got a few shades darker now no it was in there I swear it was I swear at me anyway <laughs> awesome there it is Finally shows up in the party. So that was like a little off-cut piece and you could try and cut some stone out of it, but you would have separated the whole <coughs> spectrum from up here to down here. So I left that as is in an odd shape. And I still think that's fantastic. Awesome little pendant stone. Wow. So this is your gem matrix. Not all Matrix goes like this. Um, as I say, some of the other porous stuff like this, which will get treated again. But this is different to this. This is more granular um, Matrix sandstone. And even though this is sort of the same, it's just been, which is, yeah, to the extent of like the other stuff, where it just doesn't absorb into it. And so this is right on the borderline where it took a fair bit to get it in there. So I know the sugar was getting in there, I just wasn't getting the acid hot enough to penetrate in there and get right into that sugar. Fantastic. Oh, here's another one of those. It's not the same one either, by the way. Different one. As you can probably see, the flash is different. The other one came from the side. 
So yeah. One of those. What have we got here? Oh yeah. I was hoping this one would come up. I knew it had brilliant colour in it. It just wasn't soaking it in very well. Well, I didn't think it was soaking it in very well. But obviously it soaked it in. It just wasn't carbonising very well. We all learn together. You, you're all up to date with me on this, people. So... I've only just gotten this right this time. Ignore everything else I've done uh, as far as the treating. This time I've treated it right. Heat, definitely heat. I was a bit nervous about having it heat, so I've only had it on heat yesterday. Turned it off last night, heated it back up again today. Um, so now it's afternoon, so after five, so time to get this out. And yep, yeah, I think she's cooked. Neaten those backs up and make sure they stay open. Awesome. Oh wow, just keeps going. Yes, the, everything is getting treated again. Hey hum. I like to make life hard for myself. I don't, I like the experiment in a way. I'm happy I did it this way. It would have been great to get it right the first time. Don't get me wrong. That'd be showing off. <laughs> so, you know, I graduated year 10. I don't know too much about too much, but what I've figured out since. So, uh, <laughs> um, pretty much picked up a lot of life skills and lessons and some stuff I absorb, some I do, some I don't. Um, some doesn't make sense in the context I learned it, so I apply it properly. And clearly I wasn't thinking that the, the heat side of things was too major a thing when I was getting it out in the sun, thinking, oh yeah, it's getting pretty hot out there. Um, but no, we need actual heat, heat. So there's the difference. Massive difference. Here's the other one of this one. Let's have a look at the difference too, because I uh, got the two earrings here. Uh, where's the other one? That's how the first one turned out. The second one. Uh, yeah, striking difference. You're definitely gonna have to do this one again. Oh, we got the helicopter out. It's alright, they won't find me in here. I don't know if you can hear that. It's about to fly over the top. Wow, that is so much darker. I'll just give this a second, let this helicopter go past. Can't you tell I'm trying to shoot YouTube down here? Anyway. Yeah, definitely have to treat that one again. I'm gonna stay as in that pile. Here comes some small, but gorgeous ones. Oh, I'm so happy these ones have actually done this. I've actually got some more of these, but I just wasn't cutting them anymore because they got so many and I wasn't sure they were really going to turn out that well anyway. I was actually going to just let someone else have a practice with them. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Unreal. Excellent, excellent. Oh, I'm so happy I got this right finally. The potential that I can do now. For what I've still got left over that I didn't think was gonna do too well based on what had color and only treated as well as it had sort of. Now this is a game changer again. Even that's beautiful. A bit directional, but that's oh, good the color everywhere. Sort of. Four more. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a gem. Yeah, this is an off cut I think I just threw in. <laughs> what? Wow. Oops. Neighbors. 
kid and my kid about to go start playing. So yeah, wow, that is gorgeous. Might even chuck that in as a giveaway for somebody. That piece. Cool. That's got some nice little details in it. Lucky last. This piece was, I said this last piece had turned out a lot, a tone darker and I'm like, oh yep, I'm happy with that. Turned out a bit darker, I can see it now. That was this piece. And this piece and this piece were of similar color before. Awesome, awesome. So that's the potential to get that. Check that out. Oh, I might have to do this side too. Definitely going back. Oh, that's got way better colour. Yep, I'm facing this side. Oh, no, that's right. It's got some issues. I'll still give it a nice finish. Keep the back open that way. When it's set. Wow. Very, very happy with the results of this. That is for sure. Oh, this is going to give me a lot of work to do. All right, I'm uh, going to start getting that pot of sugar hot again and get back onto some more of these. I was going to show you um, when they were finished. These <coughs> tablets that I've been making from last video. And I was going to get them. I'm shoot. I've literally just finished the last video. I've had time for dinner until I'll get these out. So I'm actually getting these out filming this and I haven't even put the last video at this point in time. So these were supposed to go in this video. So I've cleaned them up to this so far. Um, just trimmed them up a bit, put them on dot sticks, ready to be cut. Looks so cool. So yeah, I think I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy this week. That's for sure with the results of everything. Getting some trips, triplets organized. I know I could do a bit better finishing them off, but they were just a bit of practice. These are gonna look awesome. I'll have to figure out if anyone's interested in them. Um, it's not something I'm used to selling. So yeah, that's how they look at the moment. On a roll. Can't believe it. Okay, so I'm gonna go get all the uh, next cook on, um, which will be a recook of the last cook. Yay! I'll see if I can get a couple other bits in there as well. And yeah, leave it at that. So I'll pull this one out again, something to, to look at on the way out. I'll even be treating this one again, just to make sure. So I only went in for about an hour or two, but it still had an effect. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, cheers.